Just coffee. I'm not staying long. I'd like to get out of here before someone throws me down and tattoos me. This is Brooklyn, Lil, not the Warp Tour. And don't tell me you had all your tattoos removed. I mean, even that one, that little heart-shaped one between your... Like, don't try to be cute, okay? Those days are well behind you. I hear I thought I was getting better looking every day. So, what's the big emergency? Dan went out with Serena last night. I know some for sure are proud of him. Well, currently, he's sitting in the lobby of the hotel where we're living. Two Americanos, one with an extra shot? Mm -hmm. You don't actually think I'm going to tell my kid who he can and can't date. I mean, is that really the reason you came down here? Oh, well, I know what you're implying. Admit it, you're falling for me again. You're right. You're right. It's the low-income tax bracket. The bad V-neck t-shirts, the awful jokes. I don't know why your wife left you. Well, she's got better taste than you. Thanks. I mean, come on. Why else have I seen you more in the last two days than in the last 15 years? An unfortunate twist of fate. Well, fate nonetheless. Unless you, uh... Are you seeing someone? No, not really. Uh-huh. Not serious. Or he's married. That is your time. That's enough, Rufus. What's his name? Ever read about him in Forbes or Rolling Stone? Well, whoever he is, I'm sure he can't keep up with you. Well, I'm gonna take that as a compliment, but I'm serious. I'm worried about Serena. I don't need some new boy influencing or distracting her from her needs. Well, no offense, Lil, but I'm guessing a kid like Dan is exactly what Serena needs.